This is homemade sauerkraut. Cottage garden style. First we cut our cabbage, cut it in half. videos make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment <laughs> then into quarters that was in the middle perfectly <laughs> that was not in the middle that is not in the middle <laughs> <laughs> then we cut out the core Cut all of them. The amount of salt you use depends on how much processed cabbage you have. Our family likes our sauerkraut pretty salty. Get your weighing machine and calculate 3% of the weight of your cabbage. Our cabbage weighs 1,150 grams. Times it by 3%, that's how much salt you put in. So we put 34.5 grams of salt into this sauerkraut. Finally, slice your cabbage. Place in the bowl. Sprinkle the salt on. We use Himalayan salt. Crush it and squeeze it to release the liquid out. Mix. Let's mix it and around and around and around. When that acid comes out of them, it's like squeezing it. You need to do this for five minutes. This is Shakespeare. <laughs> Puppet story. Oh, now the acid's coming out. What? The juice, not acid. The juice is water coming out. <laughs> this will taste really good. Sauerkraut is ready now. This is homemade sauerkraut. Cottage garden style. Butternut squash, broccoli, cauliflower, sour. Cut it in half. Cut the edges off. Slice it into thin strips. Broccoli. Cauliflower. Ooh, that was a good set. Cut it into bits. Now we need a jar. And a lid. We need some sauerkraut. And then we need butternut squash. Yep. Good. Move them around a little bit to Move the side. Them into size. Okay, good. Now we put the cauliflower. Now, now some sauerkraut. There. And, now and now some broccoli. broccoli. And now we need sauerkraut. Good. And now we need some of the, the juice. The liquid. The liquid. Okay, good. Now squish it. Just squish it. Good. Oh. Okay, that's good. Okay, you did good. Now we need the cling wrap. Cling wrap. We need. Now we need a lid. Done. But every day we have to open it to make it go like this. Now we put it up here. And this is the pen. Pen. The little pen. The little. Cut 
about it more. Oh no. What shall we do? We shall put them in the Okay. Yeah. Ginger, rhubarb, sauerkraut. Cut it into thin strips. Thinly sliced rhubarb. We have to get frozen rhubarb because it's not in season right now. Now we need a jar. And a lid. Now we need some sauerkraut. And now all of this ginger. Ginger. The little sticks. Because they're thin, they'll firm it fast. And now no. sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. Good. Chad, you can put the rhubarb now. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Okay, good. Now, sauerkraut. Okay, now you can put some of the liquid. liquid. Okay, now you can squish it. Okay. A little bit more sauerkraut. Okay, good. Now we need the cling wrap. Now we need the top and it's done. And every day we need to open it to make it burp like this. I don't know how to do that. Now we can put it up. Wave it here. And now we have a living. Beetroot red cabbage sauerkraut. Cut it in half and then in quarters. as my head. Cut the core out and cut one thin slice. It fits more easily this way. Cut it in half. And then a little slice. Just cut it into fine little slices. Now we need a jar. And now we need a top. Lid. <laughs> <laughs> and now we need sauerkraut. That's a lot. <laughs> well, we squish it is small. Which one should we put first? This one or this one? Hmm. This one. Probably that. Sauerkraut. Yes, Good. Now the beetroot. Trying to put it every way. And now we need, need sauerkraut. sauerkraut. Okay. Good. And now we need the liquid. liquid. I need more liquid. Push it down. Yes. I'll push it a little bit. Let's get some more sauerkraut. Let's squish it. It's really hot. And now we need the cling wrap. Mm -hmm. And now the lid. And done. And now every day you have to open it to make it burp like this. And I don't know how he does it. Sauerkraut. Well, we put the 